Hey guys and welcome to part 26 of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last part we got to the Dragon type gym and beat all the trainers, so now all we have to do is uh, beat the gym leader, get the badge, save the day and uh, be, a cool, be a cool guy. So uh, I will say this, I, this took me two tries to beat this gym leader. Uh, the first try I just tried it straight away um, from the last part, you know, from when the last part ended. I just tried to beat the gym leader straight away and it just didn't happen. My Pokemon were way too low level, there was just no way it's going to happen. So this second attempt is me I went back to Route 45, tried to find as many trainers as I could, and just spent a lot of time training. Uh it was one of those things where with the other gyms I was kind of like frustrated when I was like when I got beaten the first time because like, oh damn it, now I have to go train. Or I you know, have to do it again. But with this gym, I knew I was going to lose it the first time, so I wasn't too annoyed about training. Uh, training went pretty well. Uh, pretty much I talked about training in that room in the last part, so check out that part if you haven't, if you want to know how I trained and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, so there are some level changes, and like I said before, I actually did focus on Mr. Sublime. So Mr. Sublime is the one with the biggest level increase that you're going to see. So straight away, Claire, I don't know why she's just called Claire. I mean. Most of the gym leaders in this uh, game have, you know, Bugsy and thick stuff like that. It's all puns, but she's just called Claire. That's a bit weird. I, I, I don't know. Dragon Air, Dragon Claire. I, I, maybe that's the pun. Um, but anyway, so straight away she starts off with a Gyarados, and the nice thing about Gyarados is that it's water flying type, so it's four times weak to electric, and that's really nice because if Gyarados was water dragon type. It would be so hard to take down, and I think out of all the Pokemon that she has, if Gyarados was Water uh, Dragon type, Gyarados would be a would be her hardest Pokemon to defeat, no question about it. Um, so it's nice that I have the Fluff, who's pretty tough, and uh, yeah, now I can actually learn Discharge. And the reason why I got, uh, I'm going to get rid of Thunder Punch and replace Discharge with it is because I uh, couldn't get rid of Strength wanted to keep Thunder Wave because it's really useful and actually I've been using Charge a lot and I'm going to use the Charge or the Attack Charge later on in this battle so it actually came in really useful the um, Charge so and also the Fluff has higher special attack than it does physical attack so I thought it just made sense to replace Thunder Punch with Discharge because it was just going to be more powerful uh, not just by power but because of you know thingy stats uh, so as you can see, yes, Mr. Sublime is level 35, and when it came to these Dragonairs, uh, in my first attempt I learned that I really can't do much to these things, that they're just really tough, they can just take hits, I just can't do much to them, so my tactic to take them out was just to use Mr. Sublime and use Psybeam, because that was probably my best attack against them, because Dragon um, Pokemon are immune, or uh, they can take hits, then it's not very... <laughs> Electric, water, fire, and grass aren't very effective against dragon types, so I couldn't say send out the fluff and use discharge because I actually tried that in my first attempt and it didn't go that badly, but it didn't go that well either. Uh, once again, the fluff is just really good now and really powerful, so. So, yeah, so I used Mr. Sublime, and my main worry about this was that Mr. Sublime was going to die, and as you can see, Mr. Sublime just didn't die. <laughs> Uh, if Mr. Sublime had died there, then this battle probably would have already been all over. So I got kind of lucky with that one. Because the problem with Dragonair is that Dragonair uses Aqua Tail, which is a physical move, so Mr. Sublime can't take it very well. Because Mr. Sublime has really high special defense, so it can take special attacks, and also has Light Screen. So if I wanted, I could have used Light Screen to protect myself. But that wouldn't help, because Dragon Rage always does 40, and Dragonair always uses Aqua Tail, which is physical anyway, so... Right, so this is her, you know, badass Pokemon, I'm going to call it. Uh, Kingdra, which is the evolved form of Seedra. And it was actually added for this generation, it wasn't in the original, and then they added in Kingdra. And this Kingdra is actually Water Dragon type, which means it doesn't have any weaknesses apart from one. I think Ice is still maybe, maybe Dragon is. I think Dragon is still super effective. Because I want to say Ice doesn't do any, or it's not effective against Water. But I don't know, I'm just rambling now. Uh, <laughs> so, I sent out York because I wanted to heal up um, 
one of my I, I healed up one of my Pokemon. I, yeah, I healed up the Fluff because my plan was to take out this Kingdra uh, to do the standard thing, which is to paralyze it because that's just a good idea. Uh, so yeah, so I paralyzed it straight away, and then I thought I'll use Charge because Charge is so good because it gives you you know it boosts your special defense and your next attack. So I thought I'll use Charge because I knew that Kingdra would only be able to hit me once because uh, it was paralyzed so I could hit it again. And now the really cool thing was that it managed to do half damage. So if this didn't happen, <laughs> if I then didn't get hit by another Hydro Pump, and, th and then I might, you know, if I if it didn't do so much damage or I was a bit, you know, things worked out a lot better than it did because, you know, spoiler alert, the fluff eventually gets killed. But really all I needed to do was you know, use charge, hit it with another discharge, and then use charge, and then probably just use discharge normally. But it keeps using hydro pump, and I wasn't actually that annoyed about this because I think it's its only water type move. So that means once it runs out of hydro pump, that's it. It can't use it again. And uh, the cool thing is that it only has five, so it's now used four hydro pumps already against the fluff. Which is a shame because the fluff actually did a decent amount of damage against Kingdra, but it now means that I can just throw an E-Rock for the hell of it, you know, why not? I mean, the actual reason why I threw an E-Rock is because I thought, well, I need Mr. Sublime healed up. Um, I just needed him healed up because I knew that uh, Claire's fourth Pokemon is another Dragonair, and once again, the only thing that I can take out Dragonair with is Mr. Sublime, so he needed Mr. Sublime healed up. And I actually got really lucky here with Erog. Erog just didn't die. He took it, took it like a champ. Or didn't get hit, I should say. He didn't take any attacks. So I thought, you know what? I'll give Rock Blast a go. Maybe it'll do a lot of the damage. Maybe it won't do anything. But I really had no idea. I was kind of hoping it might be super effective, even though I knew deep down in my heart it wouldn't be, but I managed to get 5 in, so I think that was kind of nice, and actually wore down Kingdra a lot. Uh, I think if I used another Rock Blast it might have died, but I got unlucky because it got another critical hit. Kingdra has now killed two of my Pokemon with critical hits. So now I thought, well, it's time to get serious, let's not mess around anymore. So I sent in Mega Dude because I figured that Mega Dude could take Kingdra's attacks really well, or a lot better than my other Pokemon because it's a water type and it's high defense. And then it uses Hyper Beam, which is uh, always a joy. It doesn't actually take out Mega Dude, but it's one of these things where if I got a critical hit here, I would have been fine. And uh, the reason why I'm using Double Edge is because Double Edge is really powerful. I do get hit in recoil, but in the end, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. And, uh, and what I should have done here <laughs> is just hit it with another double edge and then it would have died. But no, I did the stupid thing that I really shouldn't have done. And uh, okay, well it wouldn't have died because it just used a hyper potion, but I, I thought I would heal up Mega Dude. Uh, I, I can tell you at the time I wasn't thinking, oh I heal up Mega Dude because um, she's going to heal up Kingdra. I wasn't thinking that at the time because I, you know, just did this, <laughs> and then I'm now recording the audio for it, but... So, that Dragon Pulse just does so much damage, and I messed up here because I used Rollout. I thought Rollout would do more damage than it's doing, or I assumed that Mega Dude could take more hits than it does, because it only manages to take two hits, which I thought it would be able to take three or four, so I would be able to get three or four Rollouts in, so... So yeah, so that's the result of two Rollouts, its health or the damage done to Kingdra at the moment. Which is just, I mean, it's just appalling. I was hoping it'd be a lot better. So I sent out Hawkins because I didn't want to send out Mr. Sublime and I couldn't send out the Fluff because it's dead. It's a little dead. So I thought I'd send out Hawkins and uh, just see if Hawkins could do anything. Now, I used Feather Dance straight away because I wasn't too sure if Dragon Pulse was a special move, special type move or a normal type move. But either way, I needed to try and take down that, take it down. I needed to make sure that it wasn't using a Dragon Pulse to just sweep through my whole squad because if that happened then I would have been screwed. So really the main reason I sent out Hawkins is to do this, revive the fluff because I knew if I sent in the fluff then I could use charge and discharge again to take down Kingdra. So I mean one thing I need to or I should have done before this battle and before every gym battle 
is to stock up and stuff. I don't go and buy stuff from the Mart, and then in these battles, it a lot of them come down to me using items, and then I run out of items, and it's embarrassing. I think I might have been able to beat like the fighting type gym first time if I had stocked up on items, because yeah, at this point now I'm just using my scraps of potions, like the potions I've just you know had along the journey, found on the floor, and they're all dirty and whatever, to heal up my Pokémon. When really, if I just bought a load of Hyper Potions, I'll be able to heal up <laughs> my Pokémon to full health because Hyper Potions heal 200 HP, and that would have been awesome. And uh, now at this point, I was like, well, Hawkins didn't really do that much with Fly, so I thought I hit it with another Feather Dance. Uh, to so now its attack is stupidly low because it's been reduced by four. I think that's how the system works. Um, and then it just got to the point where Hawkins had been hit by so many smoke screens that. It, it just wasn't worth keeping Hawkins in at all, I might as well just switch out for the fluff. Um, because I, I, my plan was to let Hawkins die, so then I could uh, switch in the fluff. But Hawkins wasn't going to be able to do any damage, and Kingdra was just messing around with uh, Smokescreen. And it's still doing it, it's just using Smokescreen. And I think most of the reason is because it's run out of Hydro Pump. And uh, its other attacks are Dragon Pulse and Hyper Beam. I mean, I'm surprised this Kingdra didn't use Hyper Beam again. That probably would have killed the fluff here. Okay, it did use Hyper Beam again, and I'm an idiot for bringing it up. Um, does it kill the fluff? Yes, it does kill the fluff, and another critical hit. Another critical hit. That's three of my Pokemon. Technically two, but that's three uh, KOs that Kingdra have got drew due to critical hits, although I think the Hyper Beam would have taken it out anyway. So at this point I was just bored, just had enough really with fighting this thing, so I thought send out Mr. Sublime, might, might as well get him on the case, because one of the reasons why I made it so Hawkins used um, uh, Feather Dance to lower Kingdra's attack is because Mr. Sublime can take the special attacks but it can't take the physical attacks. So I didn't want to send out Mr. Sublime if he was going to get a hit by a physical attack because it would just kill him in one. So now that Hawkins had used a couple of feather dances, I was a lot more comfortable with sending out Mr. Sublime. And uh, now this is something that's kind of interesting because it really did come down to fighting this Dragonair. And uh, this could have gone wrong. This easily could have gone wrong. Because if you remember, the first Dragonair I took out but I only had 1 HP, so now that Mr. Sublime is down 4 HP from its max HP, I could have easily got killed by this thing, easily. And uh, so, I mean, my tactic was to just keep using Psy Beams, uh, because there really was no point in trying to defend myself against this thing, because it was just going to take me down anyway. I just had to hope that I wasn't going to be fully paralyzed at any point, and uh, I wasn't, so I got kind of lucky here, because it used Slam, because this Dragonair has a different set of attacks, so uh, Slam actually didn't do as much as I thought it would do, so I managed to get in my last side beam, and uh, that's the battle, so... I mean, it wasn't too bad, really. It was kind of long, but that's because I kept using items, and uh, I'm glad I won, because I had a lot more trouble with that gym battle in Heart Gold when I was playing it on my actual DS, or 3DS. Uh, but this time, I did, it, I did it second try, so... Yeah, it all worked out quite well. I was kind of a... Uh, pretty pleased with that really I guess my squad is a lot better than I thought so so yeah so we did actually get the gym badge so next time in let's play Pokemon Soul Silver we're gonna have to do a stupid dragon test to get the gym badge uh, you know what I'll explain it next time so I've been on Storm 23 don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time